okay, so if I have um, an oscilloscope screen and we have a wave on there, this is our, our zero line down here. So if my wave looks something like this, So we've got a, a wave, an AC wave. Uh, this is this is showing us what the alternating current looks like. We're told uh, what the volts per division is. So we've got 10 volts per division. So remember that 10 volts per division means 10 volts for every little box here. So one box here is 10, another is 10, and so on. So just like measuring the amplitude uh, that we of a wave, like we did in telecommunications. It was half the vertical height of a wave. The peak voltage of uh, an AC supply, as measured on an oscilloscope, is also half the vertical height. So all you need to look at is how many volts you have per division. So that's volts per box. We've got 10 volts per box. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4 boxes. So it's 4 times 10. Our peak voltage here is 40 volts. So we've got 40 volts here just from reading. Uh, how many volts we have per box. So it's very, very easy to do that. And the other important thing to remember is that peak voltage is always higher than the declared voltage, the voltage that you are told is coming out of the supply. Uh, 